can also gimbal or tilt, and that also helps to uh, direct the first stage and help it land as well. So we're just under 45 seconds away from the first of those two burns, the entry burn on the first stage. Again, it is a three engine burn to slow the stage down before hitting the thicker parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Things continuing to go smoothly for our second stage. Stage one entry burn startup. And you can see on screen, three of our nine engines on the first stage have relit and are currently slowing down that booster. This burn is expected to last about 20 seconds. Stage one entry burn shut down. And with that, that is a successful entry burn. We have one more burn to go on the first stage in about a minute. Stage one, FTS is safe. After the landing burn ends and we attempt our landing on our first stage, uh, we're going to be listening for uh, the call out for SECO, also known as second engine cutoff one, and then a confirmation of good orbit. For today's mission, we are going to be having two coast phases. So after we shut off our second stage engine that you see on screen, we'll coast for about 40 minutes, and then we'll actually relight the engine for a few seconds, and then coast again before we deploy the satellites about T plus one, a little after T plus one hour into the mission. Stage one transonic. So we did lose video footage of the first stage. This can sometimes happen um, as the stage is traveling pretty quickly, but we do hear call out to that. Um, it stage is continuing two, to make its way to our drone ship. Stage two, FTS is safe. And here's stage a one landing burn of our drone ship. We just heard the call out that the stage one landing burn has started. So if we are successful, this will be the fourth time that this booster has successfully landed. Stage one landing leg deploy. Hearing callouts that we did get the landing legs deployed. Waiting for audio or visual confirmation of that first stage. And there stage it is. Stage one landing confirmed. Right in the middle of our drone ship. One. That is a successful first stage landing, the fourth for this particular first stage booster. So we did hear call out for successful second engine cutoff of the Merlin Nominal vacuum engine. Insertion. And that was the call out we were waiting for as well. Nominal orbital insertion. So now the second stage with our satellites are in a coast phase. Next up is second engine start two, also known as SES2, and second engine cutoff two, also known as SECO2, uh, which is scheduled to start around the T plus 53 minute mark. From there, we're gonna have payload deploy occur just after the T plus one hour mark. Until then, we're gonna take a short break and we'll see you all back here in about 45 minutes. Until then, sit back and enjoy the Space Jams and we'll see you soon.